Hi, stationary friends. Welcome to Ginger Peachy Stationery. My name is Sarah, and uh, when I do this intro, sometimes I feel like Lucy on I Love Lucy saying, hello friends, I'm your vitamin to vegemin girl. And, uh, <laughs> but I don't know, that's just, um, my, I guess my little intro just kind of happened. It wasn't really planned, it wasn't, you know, it's just what I said the first video, and now it's what I say um, in every video. But, uh, you know, Lucy is, uh, there's much worse people that I could be reminded of than Lucy. She's a favorite of mine. So anyway, today I want to share with you what I'm packing to take on my travels um, over the holidays. Um, I'm still kind of thinking it through, um, but here's what I've got so far. So I just thought I would kind of talk it through and see if I think of anything else while I'm talking it out. Um, so... I will push this out of the way because the um, probably most important things are my regular planner, which truth be told, I won't be doing a lot of planning. Um, once I'm out of town, all the plans are happening now before I go out of town. Um, but I am getting there with my, um, my Christmas gifts. I'll have some things I'll want to check off, you know, over the next, uh, the next week and get ready for the new year. So um, just kind of wrap things up in this um, this Hobonichi. And so I'm gonna make sure and have that with me. Um, let me close it back up. And I will also have my journal. This is my Hobonichi Cousin, which I use as my daily journal. Um, I track my um, Bible reading and I write down like one big thing that happens each week and or each day and then in the weekly section um, I write um, a verse from the scripture passages that I read that day and then the back section is my daily um, each day you know is a, a daily journal so um, that is my journal and of course it will be ending on December 31st and so I will need my new one so those two things definitely will be coming with me. Um, and then in this, um, this is a very old Vera Bradley pattern, uh, pink elephants pattern. Um, this used to be a toiletry case that had a plastic lining in it, but the plastic kind of started to disintegrate. And so I just went ahead and cut it out and you can't even tell that it used to have a plastic lining. Like it cut out so well. Um, and just, you know, it's a great little soft pouch now. Um, so I couldn't find anything that my um, replacement cousin would fit in. So I'll pull that out first, except this. So my cousin fits in here nicely. Um, here is my 2023 Hobonichi cousin. I have not done anything to set this up because um, truthfully, it being my it being my journal, there's not a lot of setup that needs to happen. I don't fill it with stickers. I don't decorate the pages. You know, it is just my journal. So there's that. It will be ready to go right into this cover um, when I finish with this one. So I actually bought this cover to be my 2023 cover and then I just adored it so much I had to go ahead and start using it. Um, so this is going with me. Um, next is my Bunny Weeks. Um, this one will be replacing the pink one. Um, I have already started using this one. I'm kind of double planning right now, um, which I feel a little silly about, but also I just, I don't know. I just decided to kind of double plan in December. So not everything gets copied from here into here, but enough that it kind of feels like I'm not wasting it, you know? Um, so this will be ready to go. This clear cover on cover does not fit in this, this leather cover. So this clear cover will go on the pink one and the pink one will come out and the bunnies will go in. Um, I was thinking that one thing that could be done, this is kind of an aside, is, um, you know, these clear cover on covers, especially if you buy them from Hobonichi, are pretty cheap. Like, I think really they come to under $5, probably more like 3 to $4. That if you really wanted to, to have this protected inside of this leather cover, this um, Galen leather slim cover, you could take this and cut, <laughs> cut the plastic on the back um, so that it just slots in along with the back of the planner into the, you know, into the flap back here. 
and just slot it in and have the plastic cut like this, but then you would have the front, um, the spine protected and the whole front cover protected. So I don't know that I'm going to do that. I do have a spare one of these cover on covers and it would not break my heart too much to chop it. So I might just try it, but I'm not too worried about protecting <laughs> the bunnies. I mean, for real, just using it for a year, it's not gonna get destroyed. It's gonna be inside a leather cover. You know, if I take the leather cover off, I'll put back on the clear cover. So, but also, you know, it's meant to be used and worn and loved. So I'm not too concerned about it. But for now, I'm just not going to soil it uh, before um, the new year even starts. So it's staying nice and protected. So bunnies will be ready to begin. Um, and I'll only be out of town for um, just like two days of the new year, but still it'll be nice to kind of be ready to jump right in as soon as, as the new year starts. Um, I've also packed um, these little scissors. These are by Tools to Live By. Um, I love these little scissors. They're so precious. <laughs> the little tiny ones. Um, I don't really know why I might need them, but I just felt like it's a good idea to have scissors, you know, and these are small and they're easy to carry. <laughs> um, I purchased these from Yoseka Stationery um, and I love them. I also bought the longer ones and I'll go ahead and show you those too in case you're curious. Um, here's the package and actually <laughs> the scissors are up here. These are the six and a half inch ones and they are also pretty. These are a lot easier to use. Um, these are a lot easier to use, period. But they, um, you know, they're bigger for travel. So um, the little ones I mostly got for the cuteness factor, but they are useful. They do work. You know, they're big enough for your fingers and you just don't want to have to cut out like a hundred pages with them. Um, and they do make some larger ones as well that I think have like the, you know, the, the larger... Um, hole on one handle so that, like three fingers can go in or at least two fingers anyway so um, I'll take these little scissors with me losing my train of thought um, I've got three colors of the Tombow dual brush pens 620 526 723 um, I just um, thought these kind of look like winter and so going into January um, if I want to do just a little bit of outlining, highlighting, decorating um, for January in my Hobonichi, I will be able to do that. And if I don't like these colors, then I just won't do it and I'll wait until I get back home. <laughs> and let's see, I have two inks here because I have asked for a couple of fountain pens for Christmas. I don't know if I will get them. Um, oh, <laughs> and there's a pen that I ordered. That's... <laughs> That's really uh, what this is for. There's a pen that I ordered that is being shipped to the location where I'm going. So I have ink ready to put in the pen that I will be getting there and then taking some extra ink just in case I get the one that I asked for. So um, that is that. And last but not least, I have a blunt ink syringe in case I need it to um, fill this, these pens with because I didn't put a whole lot of ink in these um, vials just a little bit so I figured I might need a syringe um, I'm trying to think um, as far as pens go let me go ahead and put this away I have been trying to kind of use up the ink in a few pens um, so that they can be cleaned but more than likely all of this will be going with me. <laughs> These are the pins that I have inked. There are 20, 20 in this case, excuse me. There are 20 pins in this case and they all have ink in them. Um, most of them are not near being empty. And in this case, this not Co Sinclair has a few more that are inked and um, you know, a person needs. So that's uh, 28 pins total and then I have the two new ones that my last video I showed these the unboxing of these two new pins um, I just love the little chunky clip on this little mini pin it's so cute um, but I think 30 pins will be going with me so uh, 
because I just, I don't like to leave them at home. And truthfully, I mean, like, this is not that much to put in, you know, my backpack. Um, I, you know, usually just take my Kindle instead of taking, like, physical books and things. So, um, I'll take all of this so that I'll have my options. Um, and let's think. I probably should grab a notebook, um, to take with me for, you know, doodling, writing, jotting down things. So, I don't know. The Hippo Noto is such a big book. Um, I think I would maybe rather find something a little smaller. I'll take all the pens, but when it comes to notebooks, I want to streamline. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to think about that. This um, Hobonichi has some Hobonichi papers, but they are not very fountain pen friendly. So, probably not that one. Perhaps I might need to take my ink journal but I mean maximum two new pens I will get so I can record that when I get home hmm maybe I won't take a notebook actually you know what I'm gonna take I am going to take one of these I'm sorry digging them out of a drawer these Hobonichi um these little slim notebooks that like go with the weeks this would be perfect because I don't need these for a particular case. Um, let's see, which one do we want to go with my stuff? Let's take this blue one. Um, actually, the brown goes cute with the bunnies. So um, I don't need these like daily. I have not used them. I've had these for over a year and have not used them. I bought them with my with my 2022 weeks. And... Um, so I think I just need to make them sort of um, throw whatever I need to into them kind of notebooks. And I was actually considering carrying one in my leather cover just to have for jotting down quick notes. Um, things that I don't necessarily want to go in the notes pages in the back of my weeks to like stay there permanently um, could go in a little notebook like this. Because this is just a few pages... Um, I'm not sure how many, but it's very slim. And um, so, yeah, anyway, I'm going to take that for scribbling, <laughs> doodling, you know, trying out possible new pens or inks. And that might be it. Um, I don't think I'm going to take any washi tapes or stickers. Um, I don't think I'll be taking that kind of time with this stuff. I've got a lot of family things going on and baking and cooking and those sort of things. So, um, I think that's going to be about it, but let me know what are your essentials that you take with you when you travel. Um, do you take, do you take all your inked pens or are you good at picking just a handful? Um, I would really like to know what, um, what you need to take with you. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you have a very happy new year and, um, I will see you soon. Bye.